we have about 56, 57, the attendee list is growing. I heard this morning that uh, nearly 290 people have registered for our PKD Live, so that's uh, fantastic that everybody joins uh, and turns up. So while we're waiting for people to join us, uh, good morning, Anand. <laughs> we will, um, I'll share, I'll share my screen and we'll just go through some introductory slides whilst uh, the attendee list is rising. So, here we go. So hopefully you can all see this screen and you should also be able to see small thumbnails of me and other panelists who are joining us for the morning. So welcome everybody to PKD Live. This is our second virtual information and support day for everyone affected by autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, which we'll just refer to as PKD for, uh, for ease. Okay. So I'll start with some introductions. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tess, Tess Harris. I'm the CEO of the PKD charity. Uh, and today I'm supported by three members of our staff. So Jane Pugh, who's the engagement manager for the charity. And Jane will be familiar to you because she's been communicating with you uh, about the event. So that's Jane, wave Jane, say hello. Good morning, everybody. We also have Madeline Martin. Say hello, Madeline. Hello, everyone. Madeline is our fundraising manager. And we have Susan Muirhead. Good morning, everyone. And Susan will be familiar to you if you use the Facebook group. And uh, if you've uh, ever run the helpline, normally Susan answers the helpline. Also during the day, we're joined by experts in PKD for uh, kidney care. Uh, so first of all, we've got Dr. Albert Power, who's uh, nephrologist at uh, Kidney Doctor at Southmead Hospital. And then Dr. Alan Saga, who's a clinical geneticist consultant at St. George's Hospital. And then later we've got Anne Crompton, a kidney specialist nurse in the Lancashire Teaching Hospitals. Then Mr. Hussein Kambalia, a surgeon at Manchester Royal Infirmary. And finally this afternoon, Professor Paul Cockwell, will join us to discuss the impact of COVID. And uh, Paul uh, convenes a group of uh, experts who are, who are working on guidelines and updating the renal kidney community, what's happening with COVID and how it's affecting kidney patients. The sharp-eyed amongst you will notice that uh, I haven't mentioned Dr. Mike Lee. Unfortunately, Mike had an emergency operation a week or so ago and um, despite his best efforts to join us today, he has been unable. However, Dr. Anand Saga very kindly stepped in the last minute and uh, he will be doing a, a talk on gen genetics. We hope to have Mike run a webinar for us at some point when he's recovered, but in the meantime, we're sending him our very best wishes. I'd like to thank uh, the National Lottery Community Fund for making this event possible and also for supporting all our support services for the next five years. We're very grateful to them for a grant that we received um, several months ago. Just for those of you who don't know about the charity who might be new to us, I thought I'd give you uh, just a little bit of background and tell you about what we do. So we were formed in 2000 by a PKD patient and a kidney doctor who's actually Anand Saga, who's with us today. And so we're coming up now for our 20 years in existence, the 20th anniversary. We're led by PKD patients, um, their families and clinicians involved in the care of patients. And our vision is to improve the health and quality of life 
of everyone affected by PKD, whether that's the dominant form or the rarer form. We provide support services that blend education events held around the UK or, or on web platforms such as this with personal and peer support, whether that's online, face-to-face -face, or by phone. We raise awareness and we fund research. For example, for many years now, about 10, we funded the PKD Biobank of donated tissue from kidneys and livers at the UCL Centre for Nephrology the World Free. And that's provided so far over two and a half thousand samples to over 90 projects in the UK. Researchers who are working on uh, understanding more about PKD and looking for treatments. We've supported the development of the UK Rare Renal Registry and many of you will have been recruited to that registry, which is a, a valuable source of uh, patient data and also patients for future trials. And recently, we've just formed a research partnership with Kidney Research UK to jointly accelerate PKD research. Uh, and finally, our patient advocacy efforts have contributed to global guidelines and consensus publications, which have helped improve the care of PKD children and adults worldwide. At this point, I'm going to stop and um, whilst people are still joining us, just run a little poll. So I'm just going to launch the poll. So this little poll asks some questions about you. Now we know people have joined us, uh, registered anyway, from around the world. Um, so we're quite curious to know, where are you from? So have a look at the poll and just give us a vote. And you see the first question asks, where are you from? And then the second question asks whether you're just watching us on your own or with some other people sharing the monitor or tablet. I'll give you a few moments. I'm thinking that the poor old USA and Canada probably aren't up yet. We might have to run the poll at the end of the day as well. Yeah, yeah. We've got one person from Asia there. Hello. Yeah. Hello there. Yeah. So at the moment, pretty much everybody's in the UK. Mm. <laughs> I think we did have somebody registered from Burma and quite a few registered from the state. So I suspect they'll join us later in the morning. Yeah, we yeah we've, we had also, we've got Australia as well, Australia, Germany, and um, mm -hmm. various parts of Asia. Um, okay, so that's exciting. Yeah, and people are also completing the "Are you watching alone or with others?" poll as well. Yep. So most of them, most of you are on your own. A few of you, other people. It's great. Fantastic. I'll end the poll and it should show you the results. So we've got a couple of people who are in Asia right now, most from the UK. And then you can see we've got uh, majority alone, but quite a few of you are watching or with others. Can you see that? Can can our audience see that? Can right, I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just letting everybody view it. Ah, the, so people are ah, right. So oh, mm -hmm. they can see it now. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Right. So well, let's move on now. Jane, I just just there's a question coming saying if they forward the link to other people in their family, can they link in with that? So said, so yeah. the link, do you mean the link to the Zoom, to, to yes. the webinar? Yes. Yes, they can. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just a. No, it's not a personalised link. It's just an open one. Yeah. There's no password. They can just click on it and they're in. Yeah. So we'll um, we'll run through the program for today. Uh, I'll introduce uh, Dr. Albert Power, and then followed by and before the break. You'll notice we've got three breaks today. Hopefully you've all seen the programme or received a uh, link to view it on the website. But we've got one break at 11.40 till 12. And we've got lunch between one and two and a break 
in the afternoon from 3 till 3.15. We know that it can be very tiring watching a Zoom event all day. So do take the opportunity, you know, to stand up, stretch, uh, take advantage of the breaks, get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or whatever, and um, try not to sit statically in your chair or on the couch for the entire day. And the Q&A at the end, um, depending on how people are feeling, uh, how exhausted or otherwise, will be either a uh, full half hour or much shorter. Right. For any Zoom newbies out here, we this is how you can interact with us. So this is a webinar which is in what's called listen only mode, which means that you um, you can hear us and see us, but you can't actually talk to us directly. However, you can, of course, ask questions and hopefully you've seen in your, on your screens, the Q and A. And that's where we'd like you to put your questions to the speakers. Some of you already discovered the chat, but we, we urge you not to use the chat to, put, uh, to make, uh, ask a question. Throughout the day, we three or four of us will be monitoring the Q&A and making sure that uh, if the speaker has not noticed your question, uh, they'll bring it to the speaker's attention. The speakers, some of the speakers will take questions during the session, during their talk, uh, as some of them will leave until the end, but um, I'm sure each of them will tell you how they like to have questions. So you type your question in the pop-up box. You can also ask a question anonymously if you feel you don't want to give your name. Now we'll try to answer all the questions, but clearly with such a large attendance, we may not be able to get around to all of them. So we'll keep a track of the questions. And um, if we know who the person is who's posed the question, we'll try and get back to you afterwards with, a, with an answer. But of course you can always send a follow-up question to us by email, just easy way to do it, info at ekdcharity.org.uk. We'll be recording the webinar and we'll upload it to the PKD website for later viewing. And we'll be sending out the link to that uh, at some point after we've done the editing. Great. If anybody's got any questions now, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, if you've got a little message you want to send us, Madeline's monitoring the chat at the moment. 